What do you think is driving markets right now? The producer price index was up seven tenths of a percent for the month of August. Do you think that we will see this passed on to the consumer side of things as well today? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. If I'm reading the tea leaves, you know, last week, that producer's price index, remember, that's what companies pay. That's their inflation or wholesale inflation. That came in higher than expected. And again, you know, what I think right now is companies, prices are going up, their costs are going up. You know, they're going to raise prices on you and me. The other data last week I think that was interesting, Maria, is that JOLT report. That came in higher than expected as well. There are 900,000 more jobs available uh, than was projected. You know, we had 10 million jobs, now we're at 10.9 openings. And again, we only know there's like 9 million plus people in unemployment. That says to me this labor shortage is going to get real by the end of the year. And I think, you know, you have to start positioning your portfolio to expect inflation going much higher. And one thing I'll mention here, too, is so every you, strategist yeah. on Wall Street. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh. No, how do you do that? Um, I'm sorry. Every, yeah, I think every strategist on Wall Street right now predicts that we're going to get like a 10, 15 percent correction right now. And of course, when you get a consensus on Wall Street, they're usually wrong. I think right now I would be more concerned about a melt up because there's so much cash out there. That's why we have inflation. And I wouldn't sit on it. I wouldn't be sitting on cash here, especially if inflation is going up. You've got to get invested. So melt up. You think stocks are going high. You want to buy in then uh, amidst all of this uncertainty 